quarterfinal stage is the best of nine frames, and it's time now to welcome the players. We begin on table number two with a finalist from this season's English Open. He went on to clinch his maiden ranking title at the International Championship. Welcome, Zhang. He's a three-time UK champion and China's greatest ever player. Enter the dragon, Ding Junhui. <laughs> Table number one, we welcome the two-time and reigning Scottish Open champion, the Tyneside Terror, Gary Wilson. <laughs> And his opponent, the record-breaking eight-time Masters and UK champion and seven-time champion of the world, the Rockets, Ronnie O'Sullivan. The players, he keeps beating. O'Sullivan has taken his cue from the greats Thank to you, become the greatest of them all. The but, Alan, there's Gary no Wilson guarantee he's going to extend his winning streak today. Wilson is a confidence monster who can play very well. He's going to be hard. Well, he'll be on it today. He's going to take down the great man. He hasn't lost a, a match, well, certainly of any great importance, since the 11th of November. Six. Seven. Four ones, long side of the blue. sort of cannon does he play? Ah. Noticeable also there that Ronnie winced, not in pain with any foot trouble that he has. He was desperate to get on that black nicely. Good shot, good try. Yes, even a genius can't Rainbow. judge that to perfection at will. Well, no miss. Ernest Sullivan, 13. Gary Wilson, 4. Bye. Cue ball replaced by Leo Scullion, the referee today, who's had the ultimate Gary, thanks. refereeing responsibility, being in charge of a world final. Green, Green ball. Foul, no miss. Gary Wilson, four. Gary, thanks. Green. Green ball. Irritating to give the eight points away, but immaterial in terms of the frame, unless it gets tight. <laughs> Leaving the red was much more consequential.
heard so many times Harry Wilson years won. from all sorts of quarters that you know, players are beaten before they take to the table against the Sullivan, all that stuff. Yeah, I suppose you could argue there are some that feel that way, but Gary Wilson ain't one of them. Very headstrong sort of competitor is Gary. And he's earned himself a half chance. Never takes a backward step, Gary Wilson, in any shape or form, regardless of opposition. Canby Brown to beating himself. He gets very frustrated when he's not playing well. But you're right, he'll stand up to her, Sullivan. That's been the case in all of their previous meetings. First time they played in Germany. Now Sullivan led 4-0. Wilson came back and eventually lost only 5-3. Similar scenario in the first round of the 2017 World Championship. Now Sullivan led 5-1. In the end, it was only 10-7. And in Wilson's win over O'Sullivan at the Scottish Open the season before last, he won 4-3, made four breaks over 70, including a 73 in the decider, under an awful lot of pressure. It's a very important match, this, for Wilson, not just in terms of prize money and profile, but also rankings. He's 10th on the one-year list, so he looks as though he's got one foot and several toes in the Players' Championship. That's nearly ticked off. But he's heavily involved in the race for crucible seeding. 17th in the world rankings, but by getting this far, he's improved one place in the provisional rankings. And if he wins today, he'll improve one more place to 15th as it stands. Yeah, nice tap of the table. Ronnie knows this, that he's up against player today who's very schooled in everything that he does. You do hear as the overcut as well from Ronnie almost repaying the compliment. He'll know. You know, players you hear them say it all the time, I don't care who I play, I don't think about who I play. They do. It's part of their job. Ronnie has been very careful so far because he knows that Gary Wilson's a sort of player that tries to win the frame in one hit pretty much every time. No fireworks here, but that's good to see, in my opinion, from O'Sullivan. 
shows he's fully invested in the match. This opening and now he has a shot to nothing. Perhaps no, I didn't play it. He's looking for in behind green and played it lovely. What a great shot. I've spent a lot of time with Gary Wilson over the last year or so because of his participation on the World Nine Ball Tour. He loves that game. And I remember we were in Vietnam, Hanoi, at the tail end of last year, and he was telling me privately how worried he was about his cue action, how, in his mind, it was bad, not working. These two have similar thoughts in that regard, but O'Sullivan's to the uninitiated is working brilliantly there. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot, wasn't it? say something really strange here <laughs> Ronnie's actual lack of knowledge of some areas of snooker actually helped him just a minute ago he was going to play the red on the left cushion there he was going to play the safety up and down but he thought it was a double kiss it wasn't it wasn't anywhere near it small things like that he's not <laughs> he's not all that schooled in you know what's a double kiss what isn't although that's a the dark stuff, if you like. <laughs> so he thought, there's a double kiss on, I'm going to risk the pot in the middle. <laughs> that actually worked to his advantage. Ronan Sullivan, 13. Yes, yeah, so Wilson turns up at the Scottish Open and publicly reveals that he's very unhappy with his queuing. And what does he do? Win seven matches to join the elite group of players who've retained a ranking title. I commentated on his first match at the Scottish Open. It was 10 o'clock in the morning, day one against Elliot Slesser. He might well have lost that, but he found something when it mattered and then went from strength to strength, as he's done here.
quality from Gary has earned him a good chance now. Like I say, terrific all-round player Gary is. He's, he's a natural scorer. But in the safety stakes, he's very accomplished. One. <coughs> I'll say this before I'm accused of hindsight. The pre-match odds, 2-7 O'Sullivan, 5-2 Wilson. Yes, of course, O'Sullivan's favourite. But 5-2 Wilson, given his form, that might represent a little bit of value for me. <coughs> Seven. Gary Wilson, seven and again. <laughs> yeah, caused by awkward bridging with his left arm. It's so unsettling that. Yeah, he should still have got it. Of course he should have. One. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty. Yeah, so just got to be mindful here of keeping his cue ball straight or high on the pink to the same pocket. Yeah, and it caused him to miss the pot. He's so much concentration into straight or high on the pink. He would have been straight if he'd have got the pot. The cue ball wouldn't have gone as wide. So, reprieve for Gary. You can get a frame like this full of Seven. mistakes and hesitancy at any time in a match, but normally they occur either last or first. Both of them still Gary Wilson. Seven. to settle. just the execution of that shot Alan it was the speed he identified it well and I miss Ronnie O'Sullivan oh. Choice that wasn't it? He felt that well, I'm not going to get anything out of the 
Gary Wilson escaped, so let's change things up a bit. Yeah, and Gary's in even more trouble this time. So a good decision and a good shot. decision wasn't it I know that's hindsight but I don't think there's all that many players that wouldn't have put the cue ball back had it replaced that last time round but this is the reward 24 still needs two reds more reds seven Yeah. I said earlier in the week, these pockets are perfect in my opinion. You cannot shave the near jaw on the way in at pace like that. It's exactly the way you want the pockets to be. One. Earlier in the frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan misjudged a safety. The only good thing about it was he knocked the black very safe and down the line, that could prove useful. Especially now. Six. Seven. Yeah, it's a good point you make, Phil, about the black, because Gary needs it regardless of colour value. He might play the green here, then yellow for a half ball green off the spot and lift the black. It's one of those thinking ahead situations. That's what the plan will be here. Half ball green, lift the black. 17. Almost guaranteed being on the brown. Ninety. Twenty-two. I'm astounded that he didn't play it. It was absolutely perfect. Twenty-six. Forty-one. He's as good as he could be. Credit to him. That was a lovely shot to get this angle. You'd expect contact on it. Can he push it over the corner?
frame balls you dream about. Ideal contact, ideal start. Pots to four out in the same. Gary Wilson draws a first blood. It was a frame of mistakes, but that won't concern Wilson in the slightest. The intriguing mm. afternoon at the Morningside Arena has begun. Not well for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Gary Wilson Thank you. snatching the first frame from the black with a 44 Ronnie clearance. It lasted 25 minutes, but it was quicker than its counterpart on table two. Jang Ander and Linjun Wei still involved in their first frame. Jang leading by seven points, one red remaining. Yeah, good effort. Only thing, when he played that shot, he sort of hedged his bets a fraction, which is not a terrible thing. He sort of made sure the cue ball was low in the black, sort of keeping it safe-ish. If Harry's going to go ahead and win this match today, he's got to be very aggressive in... As far as when he makes his mind up which shot to play, you've got to commit 100%. He didn't quite do that with that red. One. So much to love about these ITV events, they're brilliant and the players love them, but uh, one of the things I love is the, the time of year that they are, the weather perfect, the tables are, the bed cloth is glassy, icy almost, it's beautiful to play on. You can do things like that, you know, you can manipulate uh, an angle and reds into play, Fucking. all helps in the break building department. Same here. Release the cue ball above the blue line. 14. It just keeps on going. See that? And I think for that, this break should keep on going. 20. Sloppy though from O'Sullivan. Okay, he stole the black, but nowhere near where he wanted to be. And it's the thing that irks him most: positional misjudgments. Twenty-seven. Because he's not used to them. Can't tell you, Shangander won the first frame way on the brown. Potted some good balls towards the end of the frame. <coughs> 
stop chứ Ernest Alvin, stop chứ There is frustration bubbling up the positional shot off the yellow didn't meet his own standards. He dropped it on a dinner plate as opposed to a sixpence. Yeah, he's kind of chuntering to himself there in the chair, Ronnie. No, oh, super pause. <laughs> One of the reasons snooker players are so hard on, on themselves, these guys anyway, is that, uh, worth another look, isn't it? Brilliant pot, that. The reason to get so down on themselves when they look like they're playing well and then throw in a, a silly miss here and there. <laughs> is that they just expect so much from themselves and they also never or rarely impress themselves and play all day without missing when the misses start creeping in oh look at this escape superb <laughs> yeah, when the misses start creeping in the frustration does too One. Genius plus luck equals unbeatable. Yeah, Gary understandably looked to the Eight. heavens there when red disappeared. Nine. Again, absolutely nothing of it. Yeah, understandable that you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard enough out there. Sixteen. Got to park it and move on. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Forty-one. Top T2.
Two bites of the cherry. 38. Now Sullivan, very quickly back on level terms. <clears throat> But he's not happy. That was a poorly struck shot. 46. Sixty. Sixty-eight. Bernard Sullivan, sixty-eight, and different. The incomparable Ronnie O'Sullivan has fans all over the world, including in that frame, the Lady Luck. She helped greatly. It's one-one. I think it's fair to say we've had an interesting start to, Thank you. The to this quarter-final. <laughs> Gary Wilson to be. Wilson going in front. O'Sullivan responding. Of course, for O'Sullivan, being in a ranking event quarter final is second nature. It's his 141st, trying to reach his 91st ranking semi final. sudden in a couple of shots it feels like there's a wind of change in this match Eight. the fluke was one thing yes we must acknowledge it but nine it was a well taken 68 break in the end to secure it Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah, that was a heavy contact. You'd hear it. <laughs> Snooker psychology, <laughs> when you suffer a kick, you feel aggrieved. It's not your fault. 90. That can seep into the next shot. Off row Sullivan there. 20. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Good refereeing just a second ago by Leo Scullion, letting Ronnie pass. Mindful not to disrupt any rhythm. Thirty-five. That he's now feeling. Looks in stroke 47. all of a sudden, doesn't he? Brush cannon, not a full one, and played it <coughs> quite beautifully. <laughs> Deliberately using the side cushion.
44. Fifty one. Fifty two. Average shot time is seconds. This isn't some impetuous youngster who's just come on the circuit. Fifty nine. It's 60. a forty eight year old who should have scars and Hesitancy in there, and yet he plays just as quickly now as he did 67. when he first turned up and scared the living daylights out of everyone. 68. Looking for his 12th consecutive match win today. 76. But that's nothing for him. When he first turned pro, his first 38 matches. But the Norbrook Castle Hotel in Blackpool in 1992 all went his way. 38 83. consecutive wins. OK, the opposition at times was poor. But nevertheless, that's extraordinary. Yeah, the old Norbreak, myself and David paid it a visit a couple of years ago. 84. During the Champion of Champions in Bolton, we jumped in the car in the afternoon off and off we went. Reminiscing about uh, <laughs> either the good old times or the 90. bad old sad old days. I don't know which one it was, but yeah, the 91. old Norbreak was, was something. Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. The Blue for third century of the week. Of course, O'Sullivan made his thousandth century in professional competition. And in front of the ITV cameras, it seems only a very short time ago. Now he's already on 1,236. 104. 109. 111. Yeah, a break of stunning quality. 114. A couple of the reasons why he's not as quick as he was as a teenager. The cue action, he's down on the shot now for... 118. I don't know, what, maybe four seconds, something like that. When he was a teenager, he was only, he only actually feathered at the cue ball for about maybe a second, maybe a second and a half. Round the houses. No problem. 129. 129. Lady Luck played no part there. Wonderful. That was pure class. Ronnie O'Sullivan hitting the front in only the way he can. The quarterfinals conclude that's the tagline for the Frame action four. in this session of the world Ronnie grand prix o ronnie o'sullivan front and center the focus of attention i can tell you though on table two ding with a, a last red to pink clearance has just drawn level with Zhang Ander at 1-1 the winner of that will play the winner of this in the semi-finals tomorrow night
Alan, it's a, a very important frame, this, for Gary Wilson. Very much so. It's not a must win, but a badly needed frame if he has aspirations of winning today. starting to just because of the disappointment I think that Gary will think that the fluke has been a game changer in some ways it has but he's kind of lost his discipline just marginally is the red on must be tight Yeah, you see, because of that game-changing fluke, it, Gary's sort of yeah, playing on emotion at the moment. He wants to press here. So risky, this cutback. Got to get it. One. Yeah, great shot. Yes, and having taken the risk, he might have obtained more lucrative reward. Still work to do. Gary Wilson, That's one. horrible. Bruno Sullivan, six. an idea that the red was going to head towards the corner. It was actually one of those one. that the pot was difficult, so you've got to put all of your concentration into the pot and half an eye off the cue ball. It's kind of the correct thing to do. He's just been plain old and lucky again. Six. What you do know is he ain't going to get any sympathy. Thank you. What's well, that great movie line? Frankly, I don't give a damn. No, Sullivan doesn't. He just wants to pop the balls and go into the interval three one ahead. Twenty-six. 
Fortin. Yeah, these are trying times four. at the moment for Gary. As a snooker player, you've got to Fortin. try and find the positives in almost every situation. 41. If you look hard enough, you'll almost always find one, but it's not easy when you're made to sit and suffer at the hands of O'Sullivan. Forty-nine. Fifty-six. Frame ball. Fifty-seven. Like all great champions around Stephen Hendry was exactly the same. They enjoy inflicting pain. That's why they are great. Seventy. Seventy one. It's not Friday the thirteenth, but for Gary Wilson, it feels like it right now. Consecutive centuries for the break of 78. Ronnie O'Sullivan, after losing his frame on the final black, is 3 1 ahead. Two more needed for a place in the last four. Jill, yeah, Gary Wilson needs uh, a fast start, you feel, okay. after the interval. <coughs> Thank you, Great frame shot. You need to get the black out. Gary Wilson to on, uh, in, And win the first frame, but since then he scored two points. A bit unlucky in the last win. Not that red in off the pink, but uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Put together three very nice breaks, 68, 129, 78. However he feels he's playing, the fact is he's two from the semi-finals. In this season where only two players so far have beaten him, Zhang Ander twice and Lou Hyacin. Yeah, he's missed one or two long pots, Ronnie. One or two shots you wouldn't expect, but doesn't matter how poorly he's playing or he thinks he's playing, he's always going to score. It's like bread and butter stuff, that is, when he gets around the pink and black. So when you're playing against him, you, you never think he's playing that badly. Ball's going. It's kind of, I think, just hoping that it wasn't going to go enough. Surely the black is too risky. Green ball. Gary Wilson won.
Well, there's the pot success. There's a chasm between them, isn't there? Silver 93%, which is about where you want to be. Wilson down in the 70s has to go up significantly. One. Again, that ready to con. Okay, potted it, but the cue ball was always going to land where it did. So it, you kind of think it might have been better off playing a yeah, Wilson one. telling safety shot than potting that red, which if he'd missed it, he would have left the cue ball down the dangerous end of the table. Well, I think if you're Gary Wilson, there's just a few signs. It might not be your day. cue ball for, for Ronnie there. He had the red to the right, the pink, the red that's to the right, the black spot. He had a few options there, but ran out. Ronnie Sullivan, three. Even there, that was a handy little flick. Thanks, Gary. And that wasn't really, you can lay the snooker, of course, but another different sort of nudge, he might have been on a colour there. But at least he's taking control here. Gary Wilson, one. Got to have that belief. We saw it last night with uh, Chao Yupeng, who was 3-0 down to one of the all-time greats, Mark Williams, 4-2 down as well, but dug in and got the result in the end. trying to hit there and Mark Harry Wilson was slow coming to the table at the minute he feels the whole world's against him out there in terms of the run of the ball so just got to keep focused on the job in hand it can change the run of the ball just got to try to keep playing good shots yeah I mean he's a fierce competitor actually Gary Wilson he won that semi-final at the Scottish Open just before Christmas, again, show you long. He needed three snookers in the decider. Quite a few players might even have not carried on, but not only did he carry on, he got them. He won the match, he won the tournament. And 
now he does have a scoring opportunity here. Like so many players, he's been fascinated all his life by snooker. When he was uh, a boy, he had the Nations Cup in Newcastle, very close to where he lived. Stephen would have played for Scotland, Ronnie for England, and they invited some local juniors along to be part of it, and he was one of them. And that really gave him uh, a real taste of what it's like at a, a big tournament. Six. Real important visit to the table this for Gary Wilson. You can't see any Seven. chance from if he goes four and four one behind. Really needs to, to show his opponent that he's still there in this match by winning this frame at this visit. He win frames against Ronnie in two or three visits. It's great. He, he doesn't really think much of it, doesn't pay attention. But if you can start winning in one okay. visit, which is what Ali Carter was doing in the first session of the Masters, then that does put pressure on. <clears throat> Didn't really twenty hit that with enough authority for me. Didn't get that cue ball going with momentum with topspin going through the pack. He's done well. Trying to run. Keep the bit going. Clearance will take two to lead Zhang to 3 1. It really is the interval now. The referee can <laughs> remove the balls. But that's a terrific dish for Ding. Of course, he'll play if he comes through that, the winner of this match. Twenty-four. Played a good yellow. Gary Wilson to get back down the table nicely on the, the red that he's just potted. Give him an angle to cannon two reds and leave himself on this pink. Just holding the pink spot here. Pink will go in the black spot. So this uh, he should win the frame from here. Thought to. Thought to one. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. I don't think any of the two reds you can see there are available to left corner. 
think they're both available to right middle. 44. This red and one more pink. We'll put them 51 ahead with 51 on. Might try and play for the black to get 52 ahead with 51 on. Forty-five. Which is what he's done. Fifty-two. Yeah, so one snooker needed. And he will get the chance. Gary Wilson, fifty-two. Yeah, Sullivan, fifty-two in it, fifty-one on. Good visit that, though. He needed something, having scored just two points in the previous three frames. Was a little bit lucky to can in the yellow there, which left him nicely on the red to right middle. This red on the black cushion is a good ball for Ronnie to lay the snooker behind. Well, the, as I said, send, use the red, send the red up the table behind Eight. the black. This is he left this red intentionally. Really to get the ball in tight behind the black. This is not a difficult hit for Gary Wilson. But you look at where the balls are, yellow, green, brown. This table is not too difficult to lay snookers. Foul. Well, that's incredible. Oh, first thing, I mean, it wasn't a difficult hit. But to hit the jaws of the pocket and come inside the red and leave the angle for Ronnie to come down this end of the table. That was incredible what happened there. So he needs at least a blue off the red. One. Nice for Ronnie's. He split a shocker, you can tell by his body language. Not right side of the blue. Got to play the more difficult pink to get back up for yellow. in the yellow here. Seven. Send the yellow back up the table, snooker behind green and brown. Brown new favourite for this frame. position on the green, he may lay the snooker in behind the blue. There's really no point in potting the yellow if you can't get on the green. Does it go past the blue to left middle? It does. True. And played a beautiful cue ball. Loads of right hand side. Horrible frame for Gary Wilson to lose. Yeah, it looked like it might be the start of something, maybe a concerted recovery. Nay. No. In fact, it's all, almost the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, when he potted that black, he, those two reds were never potable to left corner. 
and he played it anyway, but in the end gave Ronnie the 14. chance to pot the two reds and lay the snooker. So it was a poor shot from Gary after put, putting that black to go 52 ahead. 20. Just feels like there's no way back here. O'Sullivan just strong in every area, three. including there the safety. He laid the snooker, he reaped the rewards, and he's won away from the semi finals of the World Grand Prix, leading Gary Wilson 4 1. Another dramatic frame then. Ronnie O'Sullivan needed the snooker, yep. he got the snooker. <clears throat> Thank you. And he made the clearance. Frame six. So he leads 4 1. Sullivan. He needs one more frame, and he'll take on either Ding Junhui or Zhang Andrew in the semis tomorrow night. They're uh, 3 1 to Ding. About to resume on table two. And understandably, there's been a lot of attention paid to interviews that Ron has given this week, including to, to Rob. But uh, there's no doubt when he's out there, you know, he's still very, very competitive. It may be a lot of the, the other time at tournaments he doesn't enjoy so much, but the actual snooker, even if he's not that happy with his game, he's competing hard. He was very disciplined, actually, in that last frame, and already here, he's got his first chance. The error straight away from Wilson. You can understand why he would feel a little dejected. Will he come back to the table, is the question. One. Eight. Yeah, normally so reliable at finishing matches off. Rune Sullivan when he gets a sniff of a chance. Nine. that shot so well. Like screwing the cue ball of two cushions to run inside. It's a shot actually that seventeen. He plays a lot more often than other players. And now full ball into the pink. Hoping not to pot a red obviously. Didn't catch the pink full ball. Now you're relying on a bit of luck. And well to be honest he's he's had his bit of luck in this match. If you don't catch the pink full in the face, the cue ball doesn't stay in the middle of the table. It runs to the cushions, and then, as I say, you're relying on a bit of luck then. But this now looks like the beginning of the end of this match. Thank you. 29. Thirty. So, Gary Wilson, this was the, uh, the ball he missed, the double kiss, the thumbs up, sarcastic. <laughs> kind of almost knew it was the end there. Thirty-seven. Forty eight, forty five. Yeah, Ronnie's forty six against someone who, well, pretty much around about a month ago, won a ranking tournament, but he's. To be honest, he's he's made him look well, just several levels below. He just brushed him aside, really, Ronnie. He's not over the line yet. But 
he just he is on another level. Fifty four. Well, that is end of break. He's not going to win the match at this visit. A little reprieve for Gary Wilson. Five. And he's not hit the pink, I don't think. Brian Sullivan, fifty four. Gary Wilson, six. And miss. Back. Okay. Not quite sure why Gary's putting him back. I don't think he's going to miss it again. And the cue ball's going to be pretty much in the same place. Towards the reds. Okay. I'll go with you. Could you play the shot? This red. If Ronnie can't get to the second red to left mill the first one, this is so difficult. But I think he can get to the second one. He's the ball, there's no doubt about it. Not the end. Six. And this is why sometimes I think, you know, he's not always as, as maybe happy after a match as you as you think he might be because feels definitely should have killed it off there and even though he'll probably still win, it's just gone wrong and Wilson looks like he'll be coming back to the table again. Ronan Sullivan, six. Sullivan having to cover the red. Over left corner. So <laughs> it's trouble, isn't it? He's 4 1 down. He's 54 points down. There's a red very close to a pocket that he's got to cover himself or certainly deal with. Sullivan for well that kind of sums up the afternoon doesn't it for Gary thank you I don't think he'll be settling back anytime soon to rewatch this one one running off Sullivan's first ranking event semi-final was the 1993 Dubai Classic this will be tomorrow night he's 91st Still, despite his own three issues and complaints about his game, four. That's another match where he's not been beaten. In fact, he's won comfortably. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's just too good. No one is putting it up to him. Certainly not this week. Eleven. Twelve. Well, it'll be Ding Jun Wheel Zhang Anda next to play if he's successful, Judd Trump or Chai Peng in the final. Of course, Zhang, Zhang has beaten him this season. 19. 20. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. 
parti. Wilson had really went in the last round, didn't it? Which O'Sullivan stole after getting a snooker. Who knows, at 3-2, things might have turned round, but it wasn't to be. Forty. Forty-three. Forty-seven. Fifty-two. So Wilson won the first round on the black, but really since then it's been comprehensive. OK, some of the running has gone with Ronnie O'Sullivan, but... He's also played some lovely stuff. He had that century in frame three. Wasn't to be for Gary Wilson. An afternoon to forget for him as the players conduct the home post-mortem here. It's Ronnie O'Sullivan into his 91st ranking event semi-final. He's the winner by five frames to one. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thanks, Ronnie. Well done.